developing story in Pasadena. Still no word on the cause of this fire that forced families to flee their apartments this morning. Sky 2 was over the scene during the height of it. It happened at the Veranda Village apartments on Shaver and Allen Genoa. KPRC2's Kathy Hernandez has a closer look at what families are dealing with right now. Good afternoon, just a devastating fire. Right now you can see crews are demolishing the apartment building and they say the fire may have been an accident. Police officer come to my door, knocked on the door, banged and said, get out. Everybody get out now, this is on fire. Residents like Randall George at the Veranda Village apartments on Spencer rushed to escape the flames. My phone, uh, my keys to my truck, every all but what I got on is my wallet, everything still inside my apartment. Even more devastating, Justin Ray didn't have time to save his cats. We had a, 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 a mother cat give birth to a litter of kittens recently, and they were up in the top story in the closet. The fire started small, then quickly spread. The cell phone video shows it raging out of control. And suddenly, there's like a huge inferno coming out of the roof of the second story. And then just it, the wind carried it all the way down. Investigators say the fire started in a first floor apartment just after 4.30 this morning. Once it gets in that common attic and there's no fire stops because these are older apartments, um, it just gets in that chaseway and it just runs. A man and woman inside that apartment were badly burned. The husband also was burned about 30% of his body trying to rescue her, her and get her out. As investigators work to determine what caused it, dozens of families start the process of recovering. I've lost some things. I'm still alive. That's a God blessing to me. Investigators say the woman is in critical condition, but doctors believe she'll survive. Her husband is in stable condition. Up to 32 units were impacted. The American Red Cross is expected to help some of those families. Reporting in Pasadena, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.